A new play is hitting the local stage, highlighting a serious topic. It's called Who You Again? And it follows a family affected by dementia. And joining us now to talk about it is playwright Ryan Okinaka. Good morning, Ryan. Thanks so much for joining us. No, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Now, this is a topic that many people can relate to. I think we all know someone who's been affected by dementia. Can you talk more about this play that you wrote? Yeah, of course. Uh, so the play is called Who You Again. It follows the family struggling to care for their matriarch um, as uh, dementia slowly steals her memories away. Um, it follows the, the, the grandmother and this grandson, and the grandmother, through her dementia, tends to revert back to different age ranges. So either she'd be a young girl playing in her grandfather's backyard or a teenager going to a, a bar in downtown Honolulu. Uh, and oftentimes, all of her words kind of come out as nonsensical banter. Uh, but the grandson uh, plays along with them. Uh, and by doing so, the two are transported to these magical worlds where they can connect and kind of play together. And, uh, and uh, yeah. And what was your inspiration? Why did you want to write this? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, so... I've been in the theater community for years now, uh, and in 2018, uh, I was training to be a flight attendant with Hawaiian Airlines. Uh, and then halfway through my training, we lost my grandmother. Uh, she was kind of going through symptoms of dementia, and she passed away uh, about halfway through training. And training was is so intense, such an intense thing. And I, so I remember I had to force myself to kind of put all of that trauma and grief on the back burner uh, in order to really focus and get through training uh, to become a flight attendant. Uh, and then once I graduated from being a flight attendant, I could fly again. I was finally able to kind of process it all. And I really channeled all of that um, grief and all of those emotions into the play that we are, we're showcasing now at Kumukua Theater. Uh, so that was really um, the essence of why I really wanted to write it. Um, you know, it deals with, it, it talks about um, family. It talks about uh, this, this end phase in everyone's lives that we have to go through with our, with either our grandparents or our parents, or even some, some friends, you know, it's a really difficult uh, stage in life, in, a li in life where everyone has to kind of go through it. And it's always kind of viewed upon as very uh, negative and very dark and, and a sad time. Um, but I really wanted this play to showcase that there's a lot of magic and a lot of beauty in that end phase of life. And, uh, if we really like take the time to listen and to um, cherish that moment, um, that it doesn't always have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be sad and, and filled with that, uh, with, you know, sadness. And what has the response been so far? I can imagine it's been so positive and people are just glad that you're sharing this on stage because they can relate to it. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I talk to so much people before the show starts and they're just like, oh man, I'm so happy that you're telling this story, but we're sad and feel, we feel like we're going to just cry the whole time. And they do, <laughs> they do, but it's also super funny. You know, it's, uh, it, we've got a lot of comedy and a lot of joyous moments in this, in this play. And it's, um, you know, it's so real and, and, and filled with love. And people come out of the show with just this feeling of, of healing and, and joy and, uh, you know, this, the response has just been so positive. Um, I really, really, I, you know, we all, the cast and the crew and the artistic team, that, that was our main goal was to showcase that, you know, though we look back on these times and we do see the sadness, we were, if you're able to kind of let go of the sadness, you're able to open yourself up to just how beautiful life can really be and how magical getting to know your loved ones are. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's just been so great. And then finally, how and when can people see the play? Yes, of course. Um, so the play runs uh, until April 24th at Kumukua Theater. Uh, there's uh, many different ways that you can get tickets. You can either go straight to the box office. Uh, it's on the corner of Bethel, Bethel and Merchant Street. Um, you can go to kumukuatheater.org. You can purchase tickets that way. You can call the box office as well. We also wanted to uh, let you guys know that we are proud to partner with the Alzheimer's Association. Uh, and through that partnership, we're able to offer uh, a promo code to any families out there currently struggling with uh, dementia or um, caregivers or people in the industry who are, are interested in seeing the play. You can call into the box office and use the promo code Grandma Mele, and you'll get a discounted price for uh, tickets. All right, sounds good. And Ryan, I can just imagine that this is therapeutic for a lot of people who are going to go check it out. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. No, thank you so much for having me.